All right, guys, continuing on with our SHOT Show coverage of 2017, I'm here with our friends at Predator International. Nick, how always a pleasure, my friend. We just keep getting older, but better looking, you know? Yeah, I'll go with that, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So what we're trying to do is we want to make sure we say thank you to all our sponsors for last year. So we're doing these features for this year. And it's cool because you've got some new products. We do. As always, so let's go ahead and get right in it. And we're going to talk about the new 35 cal poly mag. Yeah, last year you had the 30 cal poly mag. That's right. We've got the 30 cal that really is just not getting into the market. And okay. the 35 is, is brand new for us. We're just introducing it at the SHOT Show. Cool. Uh, it's, it's, it's been terrific. As you can see, it's an 81.01 grain. Okay. Uh, the results that we've we've gotten back from testing have been phenomenal. So we're really proud of this. Let me see that real quick. You can see that there, guys. These are some massive pellets, really designed strictly for your hunting application. I don't know that I'm going to play with these That's right. so much. But when you need to bring lethality to the game, this is what will do it. The polymags are devastating on small game. Now we've got something that can be very, very effective on predator size size animal and maybe see us dumping that energy without getting so many pass-throughs. Absolutely. And that's what this is about. That mushrooms out to pancake size, practically. Very, very, very good stuff. Yeah. All right, and that's not all we're gonna talk about. We are gonna change position here. We're gonna go to the other side of the booth. Guys, stay with us, we'll be right back. So we've switched sides, we've moved to the other side of the booth, and we wanna talk about your GTO pellets. Absolutely. Now you're holding the original 177 right a wad cutter style 177 used for 10 meter right usually for youth competition and it's really proven to do well and the reason you did that is because lead has this stigma about it and a lot of schools were just canceling the programs because they didn't want their children shooting with lead well this is not only an alternative to lead but it's an accurate alternative to lead. It's equal to lead in performance. Yeah, so there have been a lot of lead-free pellets on the market, but to actually get something that shoots at the same level, the same competitive level as lead was a real challenge. And this has been around for a while, and you've had some teams have some real success. Absolutely, we won, won some national meets with these, uh, competing against lead pellets. Okay, all right, so now what you've done is you've really stepped that up. You've gone from the 10 meter and gone into the hunting arena. Absolutely, yeah. And we've, so what we've got here are a couple examples. We've got our 22 and our 25 caliber. Okay. And I've actually already done a bit of hunting with yes, these. Have. And I know for certainty, not only are they accurate, they're accurate at range. So before maybe a lead-free pellet was good to 20, 25 yards, I'm getting 50 yard accuracy out of both the 22 and the 25. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, that's kind of a game changer. More and more places are requiring lead-free or maybe there's zones where you'd like to go hunt and they're lead free only. Mm -hmm. There's a place in Havasu that's just like that. We talked about that. Uh, you know, last year on the show on our buyer's guide, these lead free pellets, if you want to go hunt in those types of environmental places, you got to go lead free. And this is a great alternative. Well, originally lead free pellets were kind of a gimmick and, yeah. and they, there were a lot of statements made about them, but they didn't perform up to what most hunters would their right. standards. So we've we developed this with JSB uh, help and and uh, and design capabilities, and now we have something that not only performs well but it's consistent too. And and they're lethal. And okay. lethal. Absolutely. Whether you're shooting a lower powered gun or even some high powered guns, I did some testing up at the North Rim, which is high elevation, with a 50 foot pound, uh, the Maxima Thor from mm -hmm. over at um at Umarex, the Walther. And I was shooting that, and I got really shocking me personally, really good consistency and accuracy at 50 yards with that gun. And that's a zipper. I mean, it was doing over a thousand foot per second and still maintaining accuracy. And that says something about what these pellets could do for you. And we've got that same comment from other people that have tried it, just like you. They couldn't believe that the accuracy was there. Yeah. So we're, we're proud of it. All right, well, that's it right now for this year, right? Hey, we'll see you next year, 2018. All right, guys, 2018, I, I, he already said he's already <laughs> committed to 2018. That's, that's right. That's great. That's right. For now, this is Rick Hughes with Arrogant Web and Arrogant Web TV. Thanks for watching.